Okay then, in this video we will continue the previous session which was about drawing polylines dynamically. More specifically, in this video we will enhance the previous example so that it'll, it will allow us to draw multi-polylines. So our end result will look something like this. So I can, for instance, draw um, polylines and then if I just double click it just finishes drawing this polyline and then if I click again so it creates a separate polyline so if I double click it finishes this second um, polyline a and we can draw as many polylines as we want so that's why so this will become multi polyline so let's do or let's implement um, this example so for that let's go to our code so this is our code from the previous session so we implemented this one so we can actually get rid of this one the first part so because this one is hard-coded and we don't need this one at all that one was just a very basic example of adding polylines into um, into leaflet applications into a leaflet application so now what we need to do is first of all uh, we don't need this one either so we can get rid of that one too so now what we need to do is in here in the click section we can further enhance this one or simplify it so we don't need these so I will you will see what I mean by by this simplification so all we need in here instead of you know pushing it to to an array and then later on you know setting it to setting those latitude and longitudes into um, polyline we can just say hey um, draw polyline and then add latitude longitude so what it does is it just um, it just do the same thing as as the previous example but it's much more easier I think uh, much easier to understand because it's just two lines of code all we are doing here is we're storing latitude and longitude values and we're just adding it directly to the uh, to our polyline to this one and I can explain this one in the official documentation as well. So there is a method called add latitude and longitude, and it adds a given point to the polyline. All right. So we can check if it works in the same way as it was before. So yeah, it works fine. So now what we need to do is we need to implement double click because on double click we would like to finish drawing the polyline all right so that's why what we want is we just say my map on and then we'll say double click and then function and in here what we need to do is first of all we need to get the coordinates of this uh, draw polyline so i will implement this and i will explain it so I will create first of all a variable and I will call it click it coordinates click it all coordinates coordinates and then I will say draw polyline and then get latitude longitude so this one what it does is it just gets uh, the latitude and longitude values of the polyline all right so and in the official documentation it says the same one get l lat lngs so returns an array of the points in the in the multi polyline or polyline so it gets um the coordinates available in the draw polyline all right so now what we need to do is let's let's do let's print out this one console log click it all coordinates so now let's check so if I go to inspect and if I say hey 
first click, second click, third click. And if I do double click, it just prints out uh, all the coordinates available in the draw polyline uh, layer. All right, so in this draw polyline layer, I have four coordinates or four uh, items. So in the array, but actually I click it three times, but it's giving me four uh, items in the array. So I can show this one to you one more time. So first click, um, let's update it. First click, second click, and then third click. And the third click was double click but it's still printing out four items. So let's check. So first item is fine, second item is fine, but third and fourth are identical. So are the same, they are the same because I'm doing double click. So double click basically means two clicks. So that's why it's doubling up. So we need to get rid of this one because we need just, just um, click once, not the double click. So how, how shall we do that? It's very easy. So what we do is in JavaScript, there is a method called slice. So we'll use that one. So we'll say let and then click it all coordinates except the last one. So because we're, we want to get rid of the last one. So now we say this one and then slice and for the slice you need to provide uh, the start and end so the start the start would be zero and end would be my lengths the lengths of the the lengths of the click at all coordinates minus one minus one so because so this one slice method um, excludes the last item. So, so the lengths of, for instance, when you click three times on the map, uh, the lengths of the, uh, so actually the lengths would be four because it's doubling up. Four minus one would be three and that's what we need. So it gives us zero item, first item and second item, but it, it will not give us the third item because if it gives us it gives us the third item it's gonna be it's gonna be the same one as as this one all right so I can show this one in the console one more time so so you understand what I'm saying so for instance in here let's click at all coordinates and this one is and this one is just everything except the last one so first one second one and the third one will be double click so so the as you can see in the first one let's just click at all coordinates there are four items but in the second one there are three we need three because in here the last the last two items are identical all right and 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 we achieved that one using slice you can you can google this one slice method um, and then just Google it and then you can have a look into that method one more time if you do if you didn't understand if you don't understand this slice method. So let's uh, let's implement the remaining part. So what we need to do right now is we need um, an array which will store um, which will store these uh, these inner array. So I will just create the uh, create an array that will hold all the arrays for us or sub arrays for us. So then you will see what why we need that. So I'll say master line coordinates. You can call it whatever you like, and it's gonna be empty. So and to this one, we'll say hey, we want master coordinates, and to that we want to push. Click at all coordinates except the last one. And now what we need is we need a separate layer for for these uh, for these coordinates because this one draw polyline will be somehow a temporary layer for us or temporary polyline and this one the one which we will create right now will be um, permanent one so let's implement that one very quickly so I'll just copy this 
and I'll just put it right on top of this and instead of draw polyline I will say master polyline so and then I will just copy this and I will just set the color for this to be blue and now I'll just copy it and then say hey set lat LNGs you know this method already from the previous session so and to this I will just pass these master line coordinates so now let's check what happened with our example so I'll just save it and then let's check so one two three so if I click double click so our polyline turn it became blue that's what that's what we expected but as you can see if I just keep drawing I mean, I mean if I just keep clicking it's just you know drawing from the from the previous polyline so if I double click it's blue but if I just keep drawing it's just connecting it so they are still interconnected that's because so the, in here we're getting new coordinates right so from the get latitude and longitude so we're just basically getting the coordinates over and over again so that's why it's just uh, they are still in they are, they are interconnected so what we need to do in here is um, we need to say so for the draw polyline after everything we need to set latitude longitude for for this one to be empty we just need to make them empty because we just want to empty them or remove all the you know um, all the coordinates from this draw polyline layer because it's just a temporary layer right so on click it should just update it uh, it should just provide a new set of coordinates for to us and then when it's double click it just sets it to resets it so it basically just resets it so that's it and now let's check so now as you can see ah uh, I think I made a typo so uh, yeah so so after let so it should be capital L so now let's check so that's blue good so it's now working as expected I'm getting this error but that's because it's not our example it's because of the server because of the base map I think and I think that's because of this wrap so we'll fix that one later so for now this is not problem so for now let's check so it's working as expected so um, so now let's have a look into one more example um, so, sorry one more demonstration so there is there is a functionality called a 2GeoJSON and this one converts um, your polyline into GeoJSON we haven't discussed GeoJSON yet but we will be very soon so GeoJSON is just a format that holds vector data and it's very common in GIS so now what we need to do is let's print out that one so uh, master polyline and then two GeoJSON so now on double click it should yeah print out uh, our master polyline in the GeoJSON format so in here we have you know geometry and the geometry we have coordinates and type which is multi-line string that's correct so and in the coordinates we have we have basically the coordinates so they are all unique so there is no repetitions and etc so if I just do the second one it's gonna be you know um, the second one so in here we have two sets so that's the first one zero and that's the second one and it looks very similar to geojson.io so in here for instance if you do this it just prints out the same one so we have geometry in here and then type line string I thought that would be multi line string but that's that's not our issue so line string and then coordinates so these are the coordinates and we have the same one in here all right so basically that's it regarding this video and regarding this enhancement
So I hope this makes sense. Um, that's it, and I will see you in the next one.